Pay attention, y'all. I need this to be on your radar. The incident that happened last week in Maine has rekindled the desire to ban assault weapons and standard capacity magazines, and that renewed pressure has already caused one Democrat congressman who voted against it to flip-flop. Before I jump into it, I want to thank the sponsor of the video, and that's CMMG. Guys and gals, check out the brand new Mach 47 Descent, and uh, that means no buffer tube to worry about. Yeah, if you use my code GNG10, if you happen to be over at uh, CMMG, who makes things here in America, you not only get 10% off your entire order, but you get a mystery box that has mystery goodies inside. Check them out. If you know how to find things on the internet, it should be easy. I appreciate CMMG, and uh, I want to thank them for their support. Guys and gals, this is Guns and Gadgets, the premier source for Second Amendment news. I bring you Second Amendment news every single day. If you want to stay in the know, subscribe to the channel down below, like the video, and share it so more people get it. Let's talk about what's going on right now. First, how did we get here? Well, on June 24th of 2022, that was the last congressional vote on the so-called assault weapon ban and magazine, the high-capacity magazine ban. That was H.R. 1808. That was uh, David Cicilline's bill. And uh, that was covered here live on this channel. I also cover things live. So if you want to stay in the know, again, subscribe to this channel and uh, I'll keep you in the loop. Now, that bill passed the then Democrat controlled House by a vote of 217 to 213. Very close. Yet it passed. Very close. Remember, 217 to 213. Now, it died in the Senate because Chuck Schumer couldn't get enough support in the evenly split Senate to bring it to the floor for a vote. Now, remember the makeups of things now. We, have, we do have a Republican-controlled House. It's a very slim majority. And the Senate is controlled by Democrats. Also remember that last year we saw 15 Republicans in the Senate and 14 Republicans in the House compromise after two shootings and vote to pass the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act that is touted as the most comprehensive gun control pass in the last 30 years. Why am I saying this to you? There's a reason. The subject of banning certain types of firearms based solely on cosmetic features has been a third rail for politicians who are now once again under enormous pressure to do something. Remember, we're in an election cycle right now. That pressure has already caused one Democrat congressman who publicly announced he was in favor of an assault weapon ban now, and he has asked forgiveness for voting against it last June. They've already flipped one vote publicly. Remember, it was 217 to 213. Well, here is Congressman Jared Golden of Maine, one of five Democrats who voted against the assault weapon ban last year. He caved. Listen to him. Out of fear of this dangerous world that we live in and my determination to protect my own daughter and wife in our home and in our community, because of a false confidence that our community was above this and that we could be in full control among many other misjudgments, I have opposed efforts to ban deadly weapons of war like the assault rifle we use to carry out this crime. The time has now come for me to take responsibility for this failure which is why I now call on the United States Congress to ban assault rifles like the one used by the sick perpetrator of this mass killing in my hometown of Lewis and Maine. For the good of my community, I will work with any colleague to get this done in the time that I have left in Congress. Yep, so they have already flipped one. Also, U.S. Senators from Maine, Republican Susan Collins and Independent Angus King voted their support to do something as well. Susan Collins said, and I quote, we had an assault weapons ban, which I supported, that was in effect for 10 years. It applied to, I believe, 17 or 19 styles of weapons. Later, the late Senator Dianne Feinstein proposed an expansion that would have covered 157 weapons. And it was based not on functionality, but on cosmetic features. 
I think it is more important that we ban very high capacity magazines. I think that would have more input and more effectiveness. Angus King also says he is supportive of measures focused on functionality, like banning bump stocks and high capacity magazines. But he is not in favor of an assault weapons ban at this moment in time, actually last Friday, which he believes gun manufacturers could work around to produce similar firearms. The ass clown in chief, Joe Bobo Biden, said this the other day. Who the hell needs an assault weapon that can hold, in some cases, up to 100 rounds? I once again call on Republicans in Congress to fulfill their obligation to keep the American people safe. Until that day comes, I will continue to do everything in my power to end this gun violence epidemic. The Lewiston community and all Americans deserve nothing less. Now, we all know that there is nothing in their, uh, their oath of office that says, I'm gonna keep every American safe, boo hoo hoo. No, it says to support and defend the United States Constitution, which has a thing called the Second Amendment. Now, pressure has already been renewed by every town for gun safety and the others, Brady's, Giffords, you name them. They're already putting pressure on legislators. Every town has launched a text campaign to further pressure legislators and demand a federal assault weapon ban. Now we know that banning commonly owned firearms doesn't stop criminals. If it were that easy, we would just make murder illegal. Oh, wait, yeah, that already is. Arbitrarily banning millions of the most common firearms in this country will only affect the law-abiding. And with all the ARs and AKs already owned by law-abiding citizens, if we were the problem, you would know about it. They want to delete the Second Amendment, and we will never let that happen. Now, I mentioned the pressure being put on right now by every town to get people to text their legislators. Well, GOA has stated that they are hearing whispers that a gun ban or some other gun control may be buried in upcoming must-pass funding bills to try to protect politicians from the flack of voting for it. Because it wasn't voting specifically for the gun control, just happened to be buried in this big omnibus bill. That's the way they do things, these things lately. They have also, GOA that is, they've also launched a campaign for folks to pressure their legislators to stand fast, support the Second Amendment, and do their job. And I'll put that link down below if you so choose. Also, as always, there are links to Pro 2A groups down below. Join them. That's who's fighting the anti-gunners, and that's how you can help support their efforts. Join them. Pay attention. I want this on your radar because... A renewed push is going on, and there has been yet another incident that is looking to poke these politicians into doing what their puppet handlers demand. And that is to get another assault weapon ban, followed by uh, other things down the road. We can't let it happen. Period. Point blank. This is Guns and Gadgets. I bring you this type of news every single day. If you want to stay in the know, subscribe to the channel. Help this channel out by subscribing and liking the video. It tells the algorithm that, you know what, this channel and the news it brings is actually important enough to have other people see this. And that's key to getting the word out. Thank you for your efforts. I appreciate your time. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. It's on us. It's on us. Take care.